Now that you are familiar with the process of evaluating a function, let us now proceed to the first operation, which is the addition of functions. By definition, addition of functions is given by f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. So, gusto sabihin sa atin that to find the sum of the two functions, we simply have to add them together. Now, let's say we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. g of x is equal to 3x minus 5. Let us now find f plus g of x. And later, let us also find f plus g of 2. So, ang idea natin is that whenever we perform operations on functions, mag-add man tayo, mag-subtract, mag-multiply, or mag-divide, the result will be another function. Again, after performing operation, the result is another function. So in this case, f plus g of x means another function, no? After natin i-add itong f of x and g of x. So, let's proceed. By definition, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. And in this case, isa-substitute lang natin yung buong function dito sa ating working equation. So here, si f of x, papalitan lang natin ng x squared plus 5x plus 6. Si g of x, papalitan natin ng 3x minus 5. So we have this and we have this. Now take note na gumamit pa rin ako dito ng parenthesis although in this operation since addition lang siya, i-disregard lang natin later. Now, what's my point here? My point is that whenever we substitute a whole function dito sa ating equation, dapat nyo maintindihan na ito ay ipinapalit natin ng buo. That is why pinakita ko dito na may parenthesis tayo. It means this is the whole function, 3x minus 5. Ito yung mismo i-add natin dito sa naunang function. So that is what I mean here. Because sometimes kapag nakasanayang tanggalin o hindi isama yung parenthesis, nagkakaproblema tayo whenever we subtract functions. And later you will know. Okay? But in this case, pinakita ko yung parenthesis para maintindihan nyo na ipinapalit natin ng buo yung functions. Now, so let's disregard now the parenthesis because the operation naman is addition. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus 3x minus 5. Now, take note that in this particular uh, equation, may kita natin na ang next step natin is to combine similar terms, combine like terms. And we can see that itong x squared here ang tawag natin dito actually is the second degree term ay isa lang. Wala na tayong makikita ang second degree term dito. So, wala na tayong ibang i-combine sa kanya. So, open lang natin siya. Next is that makikita natin na meron tayong 5x at meron tayong 3x and they are actually like terms. no They are first degree term or the linear terms. So, 5x plus 3x is 8x. And then we also have the constant terms, positive 6 and negative 5. So, positive 6 plus negative 5 is positive 1. And therefore, f plus g of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 1. Take note, ito yung f of x natin, ito yung g of x, and then after we add them together, nagkaroon tayo ng panibagong function na f plus g of x as x squared plus 8x plus 1. And now, let us now find f plus g of 2. So technically, i-evaluate lang natin itong resulting function natin na f plus g of x when x is equal to 2. Okay, so let's substitute 2 kay x. So f plus g of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 8 times 2 plus 1. Again, pinalitan ko lang si x ng 2. Simplify. 2 squared, we have 4. 8 times 2, we have 16. And then we, is also, we still have plus 1. Simplify this further, we have 4 plus 16. 20 plus 1 is 21. Therefore, f plus g of 2 is equal to 21. 
And this is how we add two functions together, then eventually evaluate this function for some value of x.